What's going on, everybody? It is sunny. Finally. For the first time in a while. It's warm. Look, we're in them in the t shirt. You're, jacket, you're in a light sweatshirt. <laughs> I'm not wearing clothes, don't you? Look how fast this guy's moving. He's making a wake. Hey, no wake. That was lame. <laughs> we just fueled up at Harbor View Marina in Jersey in Cape May. And we're getting to move on. It's a little bit later in the morning, it's like 9 a.m. It's a little bit of a late start, but that's what we were planning for because we're gonna go overnight to Norfolk. 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 We just don't want to get there too early tomorrow morning before it gets light out. So we want it to be light out while we cross over the Chesapeake, just in case there's any big ships or anything. I don't like going by them in the dark. I'll get this one if you get the front. Go ahead, hurry. Thank you. On the move, we're on the move. Look, the Coast Guard, I don't know what it is, it's Coast Guard base or something. Right over there. We couldn't show you for the past two days because it's been foggy and rainy. We've been hearing them play, uh, was it taps at the end of the day? Uh, with, the, with the horn? Pretty cool, and then you hear them at night sometimes, I guess doing drills or exercising or something, like counting off. Some other boats anchored, a lot of sailboats that were anchored here left already. There's two over there. Yeah, definitely some, some cruisers passing through, and there's a ton of big commercial fishing boats around here as well. There's a few way back here in the anchorage, and then on our way out, we'll see some. Uh, I was just talking to the guy at the fuel dock. He said they're all scallop boats, so probably dredging for sea scallops. Might be able to see a few back there. It's like 120 miles to the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel and then another like 20 miles up into Norfolk. And I think we might be staying at Marina over there for a night or two, just a little bit north of Norfolk. Yeah, in like Hampton, Virginia or, some, or somewhere over there. So that's like 140 miles. And if we average, say 120 to the mouth of the Chesapeake, if we average six knots, then it'll take us 20 hours. If we average seven knots, It'll take us 17.1 hours. If we average eight knots, which we're not gonna do, it's not that windy, we'd get there in 15 hours. We're just gonna take our time, we're not gonna push it. It's not supposed to be that windy. So we'll try to just maintain our six knot average. Hopefully we get to sail. We got a light west wind right now, which means it's blowing from the land to the sea and should make the sea pretty calm. Just depends if there's any swell out there. Um, so hopefully this west wind sticks around and gives us a nice push the whole way. It's supposed to shift a little bit more from the northwest this evening, a little bit harder, um, and then lighten up again tomorrow morning. So hopefully we'll be able to sail the whole way. That he's always just a little bit nervous when we first start the engines and first get going because I think she associates that whole process with like going out the inlet, which you more times than not is a little rougher than our normal sailing conditions, I'd say. So I think she gets a little bit nervous, but as soon as we set the sails and, and shut the motors off, she's good. She relaxes. Are you nervous? Check it out, there's Wildwood. There's Wildwood way in the distance. You can see some roller coasters and stuff. It's like some fun little waves right here. What'd you just say? Do you think they know that we're strictly sailing and they're only winning by cheating? They're also saving money. Not that we're competitive or anything. Jetty finally calmed down a little bit. We have full sails up. Our new sails. 
and it's calm and it's beautiful. We're kind of beating into the wind a little bit. I think only because we have some current coming out of the Delaware Bay. So we're like angling just to keep our course down to Delaware, we're having to angle a bit to the right into the current. So slowing us down, making us beat a little bit into the wind, but as soon as we get in the lee of Delaware, I think that we'll be on like a beam reach and just fly down the coast, probably pick up some speed. We're going like five and a half to six knots, and I'd call it probably 10 knots of wind, but close hauled. Pretty good, I think. Sierra is so happy that the sun's out. It's amazing. I could deal with maybe 10 more degrees warmer, but I'll take what I can get. We got some neighbors passing us over here. Shark, so have it on that color. Uh, I need your help. Need your help. Tomorrow morning, one of our viewers emailed me 
emailed us and said he owns a marina right in Norfolk and he'd be happy to let us stay for a night. So we're gonna go meet him. Super nice of him to reach out. And that's about it. I'm watching a show on my phone while Billy sleeps. This thing is so neat. Come up here. So we're getting a little tour of the marina and the one across the way. And we're on the marina boat, this custom built aluminum, what do you call it, like a skiff? That's a work boat. Work boat, this thing's so cool. And it's a Volvo, four cylinder Volvo you said? Yeah.
We had an awesome stay at Salt Ponds Marina. The owner gave us a little tour of the area by boat, the marina across the way, and he even gave us a tour of nearby Fort Monroe. Fort Monroe began construction shortly following the War of 1812 and was completed in 1834. It's also the largest stone fort in the United States. The fort was built as part of a coastal defense strategy by the Army and in part was meant to protect Hampton Roads, which is one of the world's largest natural harbors. In doing so, Fort Monroe also helped keep control of the rest of the Chesapeake Bay. We're back in Pelican weather. It feels so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up below. Shoot us a comment. Let us know how you liked it, what you liked and what you didn't like. And if you guys want to support our vlogs a little bit further, while you do your holiday shopping this season, if you do any Amazon shopping, be sure to click through our Amazon affiliate link below. It's no extra cost to you and we get a small commission for referring you to Amazon so it helps us keep sailing, keep making these videos, keep making all the online content that we do and we really really appreciate that. You can even bookmark this link for any future Amazon shopping. Just click the link, click the bookmark tabs and save the link as a bookmark. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on Thursday.